Hi Mike here from Supreme Gadgets, hope you're all having a great day. Now today we have an unboxing of a brand new Lynx 1010 Windows 10 tablet. And here we are, just round the back of my television with a certain little friend of mine. Yes, Isaac is here. Say hello. Hello there. And what we're going to do is do some unboxing. While Isaac has a snooze. So before we get started, I will just apologise once again for the audio, just in case it does shift from left to right. That is because my microphone still isn't working, but I do have a new one on order, which should hopefully be arriving very shortly. So this hopefully will be the last video I do without a proper clip-on microphone. So here is the Lynx 1010 box, and this I got with this little fella as well. And this is the keyboard case. So similar to the Lynx 10 tablet I got last year, this is about the same spec, about the same um, processing power and everything. There's a few simple differences. This has actually got now some proper USB ports on the side here, rather than the mini ones. And this, the keyboard dock, is also a proper keyboard, not the little fabric keyboard kind of thing that you have on the last year's model so it actually kind of makes into a proper laptop so what we'll do is we'll just have a quick look at the box to start with okay so if we just uh, zoom in a little bit and try and get the focus we uh, we have Intel inside it's an Atom processor like in last year's model and we also have Microsoft Office included, which unlike in last year's model, that actually included Office 365 Personal. This just seems to include Office Mobile. So it includes Word, Excel and PowerPoint Mobile. Okay, but never mind about that. Okay, we're just on the side, we've got Link's own um, logo there. Got nothing on that side. We've got Link's logo there again. Uh, nothing on that side, just on the back. We've just got a few details here, just have more fun, get more done. Um, so, media, sorry, made for doing, expand your own experience, and it mentions Cortana there from Windows 10. The specifications are that it's up to a 1.80, sorry, 8 3 gigahertz quad core. Atom processor, so it's exactly the same processor that's in last year's model. Windows 10 Home includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint Mobile, and OneNote. 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 10.1 inch display, and that is 1280 by 800. So okay, it isn't a HD display, full HD display, but it's still a good quality display. You got two megapixel front and rear facing cameras, my, uh, micro HDMI output. 32 gigabytes of internal memory and you can expand that by SD card or micro SD card. You've got a 5 to 7 hour battery life and you've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So we just zoom out again and we'll get unboxing. So what we just do is we'll slide the cover off first of all. And then we're presented with the blue box. It's very Apple-esque packaging, very nice and neat, very posh for such a small device, for such a cheap device as well. And it is also quite difficult to get open as well. But once you're open, you're presented with the tablet itself, which is wrapped in this poor thing. We'll just have a look at it in a moment. And what we'll just do is just have a quick look at the rest of the packaging before we get on to the exciting bit. So in here we have uh, a USB connector. We have a power, it looks like a yeah, power supply for the UK. We have the power brick. Which is, as I thought, yeah, USB this time around. 
and that is obviously the USB charging cable. It's the usual sort of thing. Pop those two on the side and see what else is in the packaging. And all we've got underneath is just some literature. There. Nothing exciting really, just the usual instruction manual there. And that's it. That is all you get in the box. Very basic indeed. Well, that's all you need really. So put the package into one side and we'll bring in the main feature. This is the tablet. And there it is. The tablet, as you can see, there's my hair and everything. And what have we got on the feature? So we've got the front-facing camera there. So in, in actual fact, it's a bit like the iPad now, as the camera's gone to the top, rather than on this side here. Got the little Windows logo there, acts as a start button. We've got the dock at the bottom, and clips there, obviously, where the keyboard goes. We've got the speakers there, and there. Links written there, Intel inside, nothing on that end, and then on this end, we do have the two fully featured USB ports now um, HDMI, I believe, that is an audio jack, and that would be a charging port. And that is the tablet, very simple indeed. Um, and we just need to find the power button, which is just up there. We have the volume rocker and power button there. And that is it. That is the tablet. Let's see if it will turn on. Oh, and it has actually turned on. The Lynx comes up there now. switch around to that side now and obviously this is the first time it's starting up so it will be a few seconds and there we are it's just asking for setting up windows so we do that shortly so what I'll do is I'll just do that off camera because there's nothing exciting there and what we'll do is we'll get unboxing the keyboard case which is here Just have a quick look at the box for the keyboard case, sorry. So it's two devices, one design, tactile typing, designed for links, uh, touch or type, work the way you like. And as you can see the picture on the front, and it is only compatible with the 1010 apparently. So what we've got here is just the instruction manual. So nothing really special there, just the usual instruction book and then we have the main feature which is the keyboard case and there it is so there's the keyboard is it a British keyboard? Yes, it's a British keyboard, which is good. It's got the pound sign on it. And um, what you've got is you've got your mouse buttons at the bottom. You've got your keyboard. It feels quite good. Right, so here we are. I've just got the tablet actually set up now. So as you can see, all nice and working with the start button all up and running. Date and time's correct. And the uh, wallpaper and everything's come through. And then we have the keyboard dock here. Now before we move on to the keyboard dock, I will just note that that little spot here, I wasn't sure on before, is actually the micro SD card slot. So that's where that lives. Right, so as you can see, 
the screen rotates nice and easily and all you do with the keyboard dock is clip it into place hopefully as you can hear the screen there and then we press that you can see keyboard all set up and working so we're just going to I don't know notepad for instance just do a quick test uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog works really really well see that mouse works good as well so great and that is the Lynx 10 tablet what I'll do is I'll go away now and uh, probably come back in a few weeks time with a further video just to show you how everything perhaps features and that once I've got everything set up which is pretty similar to the previous Lynx tablet that we do have or I do have rather um, shut it up like that nice and neat just like a laptop the other thing I forgot to mention is the camera on the back there that's that 2 megapixel camera on the back it is actually quite weighty believe it or not I'm um, surprised at that uh, it's more weighty than I thought it would be uh, it's more weighty than my uh, than my MacBook Air so that is a bit of a, an odd one really but other than that it seems a good device and I'll get on with using it now so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all again next time well thanks for stopping by and checking out our video if you liked it be sure to give it that thumbs up and you can always leave a comment below to let us know what you thought as well be sure to subscribe that way you get kept up to date with all our brand new videos as soon as they're released. Check out our blog by clicking this button over here. And you can always follow us on Twitter and Facebook too, at Supreme Gadgets. Also, if you want to watch another of our videos, click on it, right here. You sure can't tempt me? Go on, click on it. Alright then. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.